So hello and welcome back. Now today we are having a Jaguar day, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it an oil change and an oil filter change. Now, uh, everything else on it's all right now. Uh, it's just literally the oil change. Now, I'll be honest, I was supposed to have done this last year and I didn't do it. I feel quite bad about it and uh, I'm off now until, well, for another four days. So I thought I'd give it an oil change. So I've been out and bought the oil. Castrol. 5W30, well it says on the filler cap, so if you've got an XJR, it does say on the filler cap. Um, we've got eight litres of that, okay. Um, now according to the book, it holds 6.8 litres of oil. Um, so we like to have a little bit extra left anyway, you know, just in case you've ever got to top it up or anything like that. Uh, also, I've been out and got a genuine Jaguar oil filter. Now I know what the ones will do. Um, and people say you're just paying a premium with the Jaguar one. But I was in Jaguar, so it's making a strange noise getting this out of the box. So there we go, look at that, that's smart, isn't it? I think you're buying the paint job really more than anything else. Um, oh yeah. So, get a little cover on this one, don't we? So anyway, yeah, we've got a new oil filter as well, because there's no point in changing it if you're not going to do the filter. So now what I have to do now is get the car out, bring it round here, jack it up, let it run, sorry, jack it up, take the bottom tray off. I hate taking them trays off, they're awful, aren't they? Um, drain it and get the filter off. So this shouldn't actually take too long to do, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so yeah, let me go and get the car. So I'm just letting the car run get warm so like I say this one apparently a non supercharged one holds more like six litre I think um, according to the book this holds 6.8 litre of oil now if you're not sure what oil you need it tells you on the filler cap which I think is quite good actually it's a shame most cars don't do that um, so you have an idea what you're buying before you walk in the shop. So actually, this car's quite dirty at the minute, as you can see. A lot of bugs, splatters, brake dust. So basically, it was nice and clean uh, before I went out on the weekend. It was nice and shiny. And I went to uh, Leicester for the night out to meet my sister, my brother-in-law, and I went with my girlfriend. And we had a few drinks and a dinner out and... We also popped into the casino. Um, so yeah, the old Jag done well. I'll add a photo of it now. You'll see it in the uh, High Cross car park. So to do this job, you're gonna need some rag, a decent set of sockets and screwdrivers and spanners. We're just gonna use sockets today. This is an oil filler remover thing I don't know what you call it but you'd basically tie the chain round and give it a twist and it'll get your oil filter off something to drain your oil into you need the oil itself to put back in it <laughs> oil filter and a jack so I'll right, so just give it another 10 minutes and then we'll start but basically we've got to take the tray off the bottom now if you uh, have a Jaguar XJR or a normal XJ6 even like this. I don't know what it is, but I always find the trays, it's not hard to get off, it's just, I don't know, it just seems awkward. Um, I think it's because 90% of them are broken somewhere. There's a crack, a crack in the plastic or something on it, but generally, I know mine's got a couple of naff bits at the bottom, but it should be right. We'll get it off again, yeah? We got it on anyway. <laughs> so um, yeah, now the biggest thing I will do first is, I got my oil, oil filter itself on Jaguar themselves, yeah, in Peterborough. Um, the oil come from them, everything come from them, so that's how I know it's right. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is hold the air oil filter up against the one that's actually on the car now, before we take it off, in case uh, they have put the wrong one on the vehicle, you know, given me the wrong one. There's nothing worse that if you take it off and you damage it, getting it off, and you've drained all the oil out, and then you find out you've got the wrong oil filter. So, um... Yeah, we'll check that before we get too carried away with ourselves. So basically, while the car's running, we're, let, we're taking the under tray off. I haven't even jacked it up yet, so there's a bolt here I've just took out. 
bolt here. There's another one there. And then there's one at the end there. And there's one on the other side. So, as far as I'm aware, there's, only, there's not actually many bolts that hold this, this bolted off. You don't need to take this front part off. You don't need to take this part off. Um, you can just take it off from rear onwards. And the oil filter is about here somewhere. Um, if I remember right, but I'm just, let me just get this tray off because I can't actually remember how many bolts hold this on. I'm sure there's just one more there and there's two at the bottom, but I'll, uh, I'll let you know for sure in a minute. So I've told you a bit of a lie. There's a bolt there and there's a bolt there. So there's two actually each side. So let me just get them out. So considering I've had this off before, uh, I'm making myself now look like I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> So the other piece of equipment you need is an axle stand, for a start. Um, and actually there's another bolt there. And there's another one, where is it, there. So there's like two in the middle of the of the under tray. So there's actually more bolts. Every time I look at this, I seem to find more. I thought there was less than there was, but oh well. I was wrong with the on under tray again. Can't believe it, honestly. You wouldn't think I'd ever had it off. Right, let me show you. So there's a bracket here through this hole. There's a bracket here through this hole with another screw in it. So I forgot about those. My gosh. Oh, I hate these under trays. They take bloody ages to get off. So I have noticed another fault on here I'm going to have to have a look at. I've noticed it before, but I haven't um, investigated it. But I think I know the problem. These transmission pipes, one of these is wet. Um, it's not leaking a lot, I mean, next to nothing. And here it is, see, it goes over here, over here, look, there it goes. Can you see it? There it goes into the side transmission. It's a bit wet at this end, and I reckon one of these rubbers has gone, going or gone, or it's just seeping. Now, I don't, it's not leaking a lot, um, next to nothing. Can you just see, it's just a little bit wet. So it doesn't leave any marks in the garage where it's leaked out or anything or nothing like that. But I'm going to have to do these pipes eventually or have a investi bigger investigation. Um, but yeah, because we don't want none of that issue, do we, going on? Now, let's go back to the oil change. So there's your filter. Looks like the same one to me. Um, and there's your sump plug. It's easy, isn't it? Very easy. So... Next thing is to drain it, so I'm going to have to find a socket that fits. Um, and then see how we get on. But like I say, this hasn't had an oil change for a very long time. I haven't changed this in a long time. I, sh I should have done it last year and I didn't. And I sort of regretted it as well. So we're going to do it now. So it'd be nice to get this done actually. I mean, I haven't done many miles in it, but I'm sort of on the bit where you should be changing it, if you know what I mean. So, uh, so yeah, let's get that uh, just loosened off. So that is a 16 millimeter. I've just cracked it off. Oh. So let me uh, let me just get it off. So we've got oil coming out already. Uh, there's only a couple of screws left. Let me just uh, do it, and I'll come back to you. Right, let's have a look. It's coming loose. Very loose. You have to do it with the fingers. This is now where I'm going to make a mess. Let's try not to make a mess. See if we've got the pan lined up perfectly. Oh. Look at that. Straight in the middle. That was good aim, that was. Look how dirty it is. It is pretty bad, actually. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let me come back to you when it's drained. So I've just lowered the car down. Um, it's pretty much all out now. So next thing we've got to do is the oil filter. So I'm just going to lift the car up again. Um, and yeah. So this removal thing here is actually quite good. So you can just, you can literally grip it on. Oh, I can't do it one-handed. But it, it's already turned a bit. But basically you hold it in. There's some teeth on here. You pull it as tight as you can and then you turn it. It comes straight off. So let me uh, just get it off. So now this is cracked off. 
So no, you can just see. Oh look, there we go. Oh, they're making a mess. There we go. So they pour a bit out. It's only the bit in the world filter. Just move this a bit more. <laughs> We're trying to make as least mess as possible here. Oh, there we go. So just let that drain in there. So I've already put the sump plug back in. Um, normally I'd let it, you know, it sat there draining for ages anyway, so there's nothing else coming out. Normally I'd take the oil filter off as well, just in case a bit runs out and into there, but it's not worth it to be honest. There's only gonna be a cup full of old oil in it, if anything. But yeah. See that filter been on a long time. But it was a Jaguar one. There we go, it's even got the part number on. So what we do is we'll just let that drip a minute and drain and then I'll give it a clean and then we'll whack the new in on. Yeah, and then we'll get the new oil in it. So what we do now is when you put one of these filters on, now some people say you're meant to fill that up with oil and then screw up. Some people say you don't. Now on this car, it's actually on the side. So you're not gonna really fill it up, are you? You're not gonna be able to fill it up really, let's be honest. Um, as soon as you get a screw it on, it's all just going to pour out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the edge of this. So this rubber ring, you are actually meant to just run your finger with some fresh oil on there. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. So what I've done is I've actually filled the filter full of oil. I've put it on really quick. Um, I managed to not make much mess, so I've done well there. So I've just got to tighten it up now. So as we know, this takes 6.8 litre, according to the book. It's a four litre can. I've already put some in the oil filter, so I can pour the whole of that lot in, and then about one litre of that. And then what we'll do is we'll let it stand, and we'll see how full it is. The colour of that is lovely, isn't it? So I'd like to say, just put this whole one in. So I'll just start showing the book, in case you've got a different one. So look, there we go. Mine holds the most. <laughs> it's impressive. 6.8. So what I'm going to do is, we know we've put four litre in, in the can. So I'm going to put two more litre in. So that's half the other can. And then I'm going to let it settle and then just top it up to the eight. So, yeah, yeah, good. So I, like, so I thought I'd show you in the books so in case you haven't got an XJR and you've just got a normal XJ6. So yeah, very good. So when you put this under tray back on, just uh, I find put the middle ones in first, then the front ones, just get them in so they're loose, to see lined up. And then the back ones are pretty easy to be honest. Um, some of this oil, look, so this is actually um, fresh from where it's spilt on the floor and I've just dragged it across so but yeah, some of the, it's definitely leaking some kind of transmission fluid out of that pipe. Um, I'm gonna have to have a look into that soon. But uh, yeah, like I say, this is just uh, from today, so don't panic. This is all just today's. So yeah, let me get these tightened up. Now you need a 10 millimeter for these. So you know the 10 millimeter socket that always disappears, you need to find it. <laughs> Right, that's the front one, and them stupid ones that go in there, see them? Oh, I, I guarantee you, right, that 80% of the Jaguars on the road, they've they've been lost, uh, because you struggle to get them back in, because if you drop it, it goes down here, this shield, and you can't get it off again. Um, well, you've got to take it all off to get the bolt out, because you can't, you can't get your hands around to get it. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, it's just a bit rubbish uh how it connects in and they don't ever seem to 100 percent but i could touch that and it doesn't feel tight same with this one it just doesn't feel tight at all it feels like it's in but you can't it won't tighten and i guarantee you most jaguars that is missing uh, 
So let me get the back ones in now. Um, uh, collect the jack down, level it all off, then we can uh, top it with oil, let it run for 15, 20 minutes, and then check it, then let it settle for again for half hour, and then we'll check it again. Perfect. So according to the stick, it's full. Um, but I've only just put in over six points. Well, that's not 6.8, is it? That's more like 6.2, 0.3. So I'm going to let it run. I might just give it a nip round the village and back. Uh, park it up and I'm just going to leave it to sit for an hour and then I'll come out here and put in the extra half litre or whatever it needs. So, uh, yeah. So, it's now been um, sitting for an hour and it's now full. Um, so, yeah, good. <clears throat> now it's time to give it a clean. So, I do want to clean under here actually because it's a bit... Well, I haven't done it for over a year <laughs> and it's gone a bit naff to be honest. It's lost all its colour. Well, See what I mean? So I wouldn't mind giving it a wipe over under here. But yeah, good. Well happy with that. So that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It's nice and easy to change the oil on one of these to be honest. Um, it just takes quite a lot. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.